morning, Upper Bod. How are you today? Good, yes, first class of the day. Sunshine is out. Happiness is all around us, and Erin has a bang energy drink. Let's get this thing rolling. You are so sweet, shut up. You wanna know what she just said to me? You wanna know now, don't you? What makes her so sweet? She brought me a beer. She brought me a beer for later. Don't worry, we're not gonna take it during class. No, but she's bringing, what kind of beer was it? You said it was, which is from what country? From Taiwan, so a Taiwanese beer. So it's cultural, okay? It's cultural. All right, well let's get this party rock and rolling. Welcome to Upper Bada Rx. I am Erin Stoney. I am your personal trainer for the day, your group fitness instructor, your coach, your motivator, your tough love maestro. Yes, all of those things all in one. Let's talk about what's about to happen to your life, yes? Okay, this class is 50 minutes long, five zero. Cool. All right, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna have a set of moderate weights and heavy weights, and we're gonna have a mat, and we're gonna stick with this format for just a few more weeks, because this is only our second class together. We're gonna learn some basic skills before we start bringing in some other equipment. Yeah, yeah? Awesome sauce. Okay, we're gonna start with a nice warm up. Easy peasy, short, sweet. Core is first. Core is first in this class. Three movements, three times through, okay? Why? We need to get all of this happy, because the rest of the class is from hips to hairline. Sweet. After four, we're gonna do our strength section. Again, a three by three. That's gonna be your heaviest, okay? That's your heaviest spot. You're gonna to start to fatigue your muscles in that area, cool? I will lead you through that. Then we're gonna to go to the board. That's the bulk of what we do. Okay, this is also something unique about this class. You actually have a visual. For you visual learners, this is gonna be a game changer. Okay, four movements, four times through. I'll explain it all when we get there, yeah, yeah? Cool, now you're starting to get the pattern, right? When I say yeah, yeah, you respond. Yeah, yeah. There we go. And then at the bottom, we have our Metcon. Metcon is short for metabolic conditioning, okay? It is the last five minutes of class. I'm just gonna plant one little seed in your head. The Metcon's gonna be tough. Don't worry about it right now, okay? I love that, she literally scoffed. She's like All right, are we ready? Already or not, we're gonna do this. We're gonna have some fun. Go ahead and uncross your arms. Oh, there you go, yeah, shake it out. Like, okay, we're waking up now, all right? The caffeine will kick in in just a few. Once we get the heart rate going, you're gonna feel it all coming in. All right, computer. You're gonna do this for me. You're gonna play. It's gonna be amazing. What do you have for breakfast? Right? What'd you have for breakfast? Anyone tell me what they had for breakfast. Protein waffle. Protein waffle. What else was it? No, what did you have for breakfast? What did I have for breakfast? Big frown. Top. Uh, besides an energy drink and two cups of coffee. Right? Oh, there we go. I'm gonna answer that question in a second. <laughs> Good, now we're gonna X the arms and bring them wide. 
engage your shoulders. Yes, do a little pop up, just a little pop up. You got eight. before you turn around. Hold that plank for just a couple of seconds. Hands are under the shoulders there. But this is where you're gonna start to really work on your four beautiful planks today. Nice straight line as you go out. You only have a four pounds of eight, and we're gonna move on. Step back, good morning, Sonia. Six, I have a present for you, but I forgot it at home, I apologize. Four, and three, and two. Go ahead and bring it down, tabletop. You're gonna reach out and out. Opposite arm and leg. Make sure you're in a nice tabletop. Bird dog movement here. Let your whole back start to wake up. That's a part of your core too. Now this one is only for 30 seconds, so you're already almost done. Position. Give it a shot. 
movements up as you do it. Feel your middle back, feel your lats. What are your lats? I'm gonna touch you. Your lats are here. These need to start tightening up.
Very well, Sloan. I'm proud of you, girl. Yes, you can use my weight. Yeah. Hey, it's going to go in a straight line, too, so let's avoid this. Ugh, that's going to suck, okay? Get underneath it. It's straight above my head, yeah, yeah? Okay, we understand that movement. You're going to do eight and eight. You get to go at your own pace. But when you're done, please put it down so I know you're done, yeah, yeah? All right, let's go. Eight and eight. On this first round, please just get a hang of the movement. We will add in in later rounds. When you're done, just go to the other side. Draw that straight line from hips to overhead. No stopping, no collecting $200. You're going straight to jail. But remember, your elbow stays up for as long as possible. That was a beautiful snatch. Is it going to get awkward if I start telling you all you beautiful snatches? Good. When you're done, put it down so I know. Good. I've seen the faces on you. You're starting to get it. Good. Now you're going to notice your heart rate went up a little, right? That's okay. It's because it's a power move. It won't go up any higher than that yet. So next step is going to be your chest fly. Okay? Chest fly. You're going to want to go moderate with this one because you're going to have a kissing. Your feet are flat. You're just going to open up, keeping your elbows bent. Stop as soon as your triceps gets to the ground and then come back up. 16 of them. Four, three, two, open. Count your own. Be in control. Make sure the elbow stays slightly bent throughout the whole movement. Go ahead and pull in that stomach. Yes, it's gonna stabilize you and help control inertia. Count your reps. Count your reps. 16 is how many you need to do. Good, yeah, you guys are pros at this one. You know what this one does, right? Well, it's your chest muscles. I can't afford to have my altered, so I have to do chest lines instead, right? That's how I do it. That's the poor man food lift. When you're done, stand on up, you guys. Excellent job. 16 is all you gotta do. Now the next two are timed, okay? 30 seconds. You know your own pace. We're all gonna be together for the next two. Yeah, yeah? Two kickbacks, two curls. It's gonna look like this. So kick, kick, stand up, curl, curl. But do it in a hammer style, yeah, yeah? All right, here we go in four, three, two, and 30 seconds. Yes, all you're adjusting is the bend in the hip. Good, we already practiced that bent over position. So you're already a pro at it. You're gonna keep your knees bent the whole time. Yep, as soon as we start straightening up the knees, let me just be blunt, okay? This is what your body wants to do because it's easy. It's lazy. You're not lazy today. You're an upper body. We don't do lazy. Four, three, two, done. Put it down. Pick up your heavier weights now. But you need to still be able to do a lateral lift, either like this or like this. Okay? Do we understand? Good. This is going to be your core base movement. It's 45 seconds, feet are hip width apart. You're going to lean. And then lift up to the side, that's it. So reach down to the knee, reach down to the knee, and bring them up to the side. Time starts now. Everybody's knees are bent, yeah, yeah. Good, you're going your own pace for a full 45 seconds. A couple of tips, okay? As you lean down, you're trying to bring your shoulder towards your hip. You're trying to draw that line and tighten it up. Good. And sliding down those beautiful overpriced pants that we all purchased. They're so worth it though, aren't they? They tuck me in real nice. Good. You've got 15 seconds left. So on this first round, you took the time to understand the movement. But we're going to go into round two and things are going to start to change. Three. Two. And one, put them down. Good, all right. That one took the longest because we had to explain the movement. It will not 
take that ball from here on out. Second round, perfect your form, especially with a snatch. Got it? That's all you need to worry about. Get ready with your heaviest swing. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, eight and eight. Your other hand should be supporting you in some fashion, balancing you out. Huh. Straight line. Of 
motion. We're not going to get dangerous. Excellent. Now if I came around and tried to touch your stomach, what would you do? You'd pull it in, wouldn't you? Ooh, it gets a little scary when somebody else wants to touch your stomach. Ooh. Yeah, see? Ooh, it's as soon as you're done, bring it back up. Good. Keep going. Perfect. Four, three, two kickbacks, two girls. Ready, set, here we go. Oh, she's straight by the side, go. A little bit side, go. And now she's lifting heavy weights to heavy weights. Did I miss my calling as a pop star? She's like, oh my god, no, stop. Stop talking. Keep going, keep going. Four, three, two, and one. In eight, seven, we go on. Six. Now, especially during these time sections, can you pick up the pace just a little? Remember, we're pushing it this round. Four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Control it up and down. We're not letting the weights just drop. We're controlling the downward motion. I always put on my weightlifting eyeballs when I start doing it. Like they go half into my head, right? You know what I'll say is just look for? So Tristan, I see you didn't clean your room like I told you to. I see you left your towel on the ground in the bathroom again, Tristan. Got four, three, two, and one. Put them down. Okay, you are now going into your fourth and final round. On this round, it's called the pray for it round. Why? Because at the end of every single one of these movements, you are praying that you can finish your reps and your time. Yeah, yeah? That's the objective. It's simple. We're not sacrificing form. We're still pushing the limit of our speed, but now we're really going as heavy as we can to fry out some muscles. We're fatiguing. Yeah, yeah? Good. All right. Here's your countdown. Eight, seven. Snatches are coming at you. Show me the most beautiful snatch I've ever seen. Four, two, two, back! You are going to get tired and your body is going to want to cheat. Don't let it happen. Stay focused on you and doing it right and doing it well and doing it powerfully. Are you praying for it? Four, three, two, chest flies, go. Maybe some of you picked up slightly heavier weights. If you did, bravo, bravo. Yes, in the gaming world, we call that leveling up. Yeah. Beautiful. You have now put everything together that you've learned so far. And this is the most amazing and difficult chest fly ever. Big squeeze. Be efficient. Keep 
keep it tight. Keep all the muscles tight as you transition. Four, three, two, one. Get ready. The beat's gonna drop and we're gonna finish this sucker out. If you need heavier weights, do it now.
keep going. Your green panic button is going to start going off. Hit snooze. It needs to be suspended for just three more minutes. You will be okay.